Hello Lucas Nation fans, welcome to another exciting show of the Weekend Vlog. I'm your host Kennedy Lucas and let's get started with the show. Now, we do have a couple things that's coming up today on today's show. Of course, it's a new weekend, a new uh, year, and a new start. Um, again, we are having some good responses to our new website at www.lucas904.wings.com slash live. So I hope you guys are really going to the website. Of course, you can go to YouTube and watch the podcast, but I hope you guys are going through um, you know, the website and viewing the podcasts that we were starting now. Um, we had a lot of responses for those. A lot of people agreed with me uh, via email over uh, the 50, 50 Shades of Grey uh, podcast that I did. I did, in fact, I did watch the movie, and I, I can agree with some of the reviewers out there. I'm like, eh, okay, you know. But, um, again, it's out for theaters um, right now, so I don't want to discourage you guys to not go see it. I want people to see it and see, is it relatable to the book? So, you know, just just free, free, just watch it. Now, I am, I'm not, again, I'm not doing a game, uh, game review, uh, because I haven't got any new games, of course. I am going to do a game review in the near future over Battlefield Hardline. Uh, of course, you guys can go to the website at www.lucas904.winks.com slash media. You guys can go there, and you can see all the new blogging, uh, new blogging stuff that we did. Of course, it was updated around Wednesday. I believe it was Wednesday. Um, you can go to go on there now, and it's been updated since Wednesday. So you have a lot of new uh, games, and not a lot of new anime, and not a, new, a lot of new current events, not just a lot of new blogging stuff for the blogging website. So I, for all of you readers out there, it is out on there. Now, before um, when we come back for commercial breaks, we're gonna do another Game Informer review. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome back to the show. As you guys can see, I'm rocking no glasses this time. I want to give my eyesight a little break. My eyes tend to hurt a little bit when I wear glasses a lot. So yeah, and I hope everybody enjoyed their snowy, snowy week. I know it's been a very, very snowy week for all of you guys out there, especially in Georgia. It's been snowing like crazy. They're canceling school like crazy, which is uh, which is fine with me. I'm not complaining because I have, you know, days off, but you know. Alright guys, so of course, it is now time for another Game Informer review. Yes. Now, I did, um, we have a new uh, postal service, so every time that, uh, of course, I, of course you guys can tell that I move and, you know, it's been different. We've been getting a uh, Game Informer, of course, still, but with a different address, so, so it's just completely, completely different. Now, here, this cover. This cover of the magazine is featured the rise of the Tomb Raider, the rise of the Tomb Raider. So now I'm, I, I guess you guys can kind of say that they're doing a second Tomb Raider. Hmm. Now again, I, of course, I haven't really got into Tomb Raider. I know a lot of my fans are gonna say, "Boo, you're not a true gamer. What are you doing?" Um, but I seriously, I haven't really gotten into Tomb Raider because I've been playing, you know, Call of Duty and Sonic and all these different types of other games. I never really got into Tomb Raider that much. Um, but I, I, I looked at reviews and I looked at the video game movie that they do on YouTube and it looks pretty good in the first one. Very good storytelling. Um, will I ever get into it? Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe not. So, now, again, to feature the uh, magazine, they also have a subscription, of course, and they just featured the last issue. Uh, I think I did a review on this on one of the shows. Um, here it says, uh, on the front page, it says, code name Steam. Now, of course, they're really trying to market their um, Nintendo 3DS files, um, just because um, 3DS have, well, 3DS ha has been selling. I know uh, Majora's Mask came out, and the new uh, 3DS XL new came out, and bigger screen, slimmer, you know. So they try to increase their revenue with the, these types of games. So I, I mean, congratulations to the 3DS. Uh, personally, I use 3DS because it's a big sponsor for KOPC in terms of shows and movies. So you know, uh, so I, I give I give them praise. You know, they they're trying. Nintendo's trying with the, their handheld consoles. Um, I think. Um, I do have a couple of games from my 3DS, so I mean, I play my 3DS here and there again, you know. Um, of course, and here's a shout out for all of you guys, it's still February, by the time you're seeing this, it's going to be like before March. They're doing a $50 extra credit uh, if you sell your Xbox One and your PlayStation 4 via GameStop. I do have um, my um, 
mom's boyfriend's son told me that uh, you can win. Uh, you If some GameStop, they take $150 if you trade in your last gen consoles to get the next gen. Um, of course, I always want to keep my PS3 just because I've collected games for a while. I have like a lot of games for my PS3, so it makes no sense. If you only have like 10 games for your PS3, okay, yeah, sell it. Um, but if you're collecting like over a hundred video games for PS3 you might want to keep that console just because you invested a lot of money into the video games I keep them for memories I keep them for collection you know and I play my PS3 you know here and there again uh, I try to on weekends but I'm busy with you know the podcasts and the YouTube and stuff um, of course with the LP uh, sponsored by my PS3 um, once again guys when I go through the magazine I really don't go through every page because we don't have a time slot for that you know I don't want to be rambling on and on and on because I, I do have a special clip that I want to show you guys that's coming up next um, of course they're talking about collateral damage you know hackers taking down the PSN and Xbox Live over the holidays they that has been a big scandal and things uh, over the holidays so you know Um, I can't really get into the, like, the fashion police, I guess, because some of these characters I don't know. I do know Cortana from, from Halo, and, and, um, Rufus from Street Fighter, and then, of course, Sonic. Who wouldn't want, who wouldn't know Sonic? And then, of course, guys, um, this game came out February 13th, so I'm way behind on this. Um, but Majora's Max for 3D. Um, they did have a majority, Majora's Max mask for the N64, I believe, and I played um, that for the N64 back in my heyday, back in the, back in my kid days. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't really get so much into Link and Zelda. Uh, I played it, and I'm like, oh, okay, you know, that's cool. You know, I guess I haven't really got into it um, as much as I wanted to. Of course, uh, Monster Hunter, uh, Monster Hunter Unlimited, or well, Monster Hunt for Unlimited, if I said that right, that was also available on the thirteenth. So, Friday the thirteenth, it was. And I see a lot of you know a lot of um, a lot of gamers out there that went Friday thir the thirteenth was a good day to purchase these new items for the three DS because those two games that I just showed you guys and of course they're advertising the new Nintendo three DS XL. Um, my take on it, it looks really really good. I wish it was about this size when I went to go get my first three DS. I got my first three DS for my what, 16th birthday, I believe it was, and I actually, 3DS is cool, you know, it playing games in 3D, but I would like to see if they had this model when I got it, mine is like super small compared to this monster, um, so it's just the, the facing track thing, 3D, build in amiibo, of course, you got, they're advertising that new thing, and the fast processing power. Which is good in some games because you want to have that fastness. When you, when it cuts on, you want it, bam, it's on. You want to load the games just like that. So, you know. <clears throat> Again, they're just showing the, the new, um, of course, the new 3DS XL. Bigger, better, better is what we always say. Okay, so now they have a couple pictures for our Tomb, uh, um, the Rise of Tomb Raider. Uh, of course, I want to. I won't really show you guys as much because you guys can go on the website at wwwlucasdenaforwingscom slash blog to see the full full uh, layout of this page. But I just wanted to show you a couple of a um, couple of pictures. And I'm just going to skip a little bit here uh, because my timekeeper uh, is, is at a minutes and I don't want to be too long on my, my weekend vlogs. Um, but there's just so much to show you guys within this magazine. Uh, just Claw Just Cause Three. Now this that's a game that I would want to get into. Of course, it's not available for us last gen console people. It's only for a PS4, Xbox One, and PC. I don't really game as much on the PC because I, I prefer consoles better. I think consoles are, are meant more for for games. Now a lot of people pr prefer PC, which is good. You know, hey, I'm not bugging. Um, but here's a game that I will invest in. 
Battlefield Hardline, of course, is going to be out March March 17th. So that's right around the corner. Right around the corner. Now that's a game that I want to invest in because you're playing cops. You can play a cop and you can play a robber. Who who wouldn't want to do that? I bet the online multiplayer would be like stupid crazy. Uh, of course, it's for PS4, Xbox One, PS3, hallelujah, and Xbox 360. Of course, I'm getting it for PS3. It is a one-player shooter. Of course, um, they have a lot of a lot of neat online, like the first-person, uh, first-player shooter and a 64-player online, which is awesome. Um, of course. Um, that's only for the last gen. Next gen, the last gen only has PS. Uh, 24 player online. Maybe I need my glasses. <laughs> um, it's from Electronic Arts. Uh, again, you can see Electronic Arts on the website at www.lucas904.com slash blog because I am doing, I did blog about Electronic Arts because it's their time and they're launching out Battle for Heartline and then they have all these other games coming out. So I have a blog for Electronic Arts, Electronic Arts out now on that website. Um, Kingdom Come Deliverance. I haven't really got into that. Um, Project Cars, another racing game. I mean, I like racing games, but I just think they make too much of it. And of course, the game of the month goes to, of course, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. Which I, I, I figured it would, because, you know... Now, I did get into the Saints Row uh, series. I did play Saints Row 3. Uh, awesome game. Awesome. I think it kind of went downhill. And I can say this now. I have the copy of uh, Saints Row 4. Not really so much impressed with it. I mean, I played it and it's like, okay, this is a nice put down, uh, pick up, put down game. But they're making another game called Saints Row Gate, uh, Gat Out of Hell. Um, 7.5, that's your ratings is like, okay, you know. Um, some of, some gamers out there still play Saints Row, but, I mean, Saints Row 3 is definitely the best Saints Row that I've ever played. And if, uh, if all my viewers out there can see, Saints Row 3 is kind of the best one. They launched it, launching this game for PS4 and Xbox One. I hope it does better. I mean, 7.5 is okay. You want to get like 8.0 all the way up to perfect 10 is like good ratings but 7.5 yeah okay um of course uh majora's max legend of zelda of course won the game of the month for game informer and the ratings is a 9.25 which is really good almost a perfect 10 So that pretty much wraps up this Game Informer review. Of course, I have a replay of it, um, replay page, which I think is kind of cool. So again, guys, check this. Uh, of course, you can check this out. Of course, if you have a subscription for GameStop, they will deliver and mail in your uh, magazine. If you don't have a copy of this, you can get some of the pages uh, off this um, off of this page on my website. Of course, at www.lucasnetafor.winks.com/blog. Thank you. Now, when we come back, we have a couple of announcements coming out for KLPC and KLP Studios. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Weekend Vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. This is the Weekend Vlog 38, I believe. We're almost to episode 40. Can you believe it? <laughs> So, we do have a couple of uh, things that's coming up, uh, of course, within the, uh, of course, with the uh, KOP Studios. Um, I can now, I now can tell you guys the name of our six series movie, if you will. I'll go into a little bit more about it in just a second. So now, as you guys can recur, we did do the show of the public and the show of the Beverly Fame. I did do a show called Kids at Central Park. Uh, we were trying to launch that out, but it didn't really do so hot in our ratings and I couldn't put it up for YouTube because it wasn't you know as good as like awesome amazing shows but we are taking the name Central Park and naming it thank you Central Park Central Park is the name of our six series movie of course we're gonna have a lot a lot of new things that's coming up I just love the name Central Park CP you know uh, KOP's CP <laughs> 
he's short for that. So yeah, Central Park is the name of the, the six series uh, movie, of course. Six different storylines, but in the same setting of Central Park, if that ring it clicks, you know. Um, of course, we're doing a six, maybe the seven series movie. Of course, I'm going to be working on this uh, right after Welcome to Paradise is released. And out in YouTube, we're going to start launching and start filming up for the six series six series movie if you will it's kind of like a show per se but we're turning it in, into movie form of course we're gonna have KOPC Paramount and Screen Gems now we say Screen Gems because we're using some of the Samsung technology um, of course Nintendo 3DS, Vivitar and Kesar for our film developers of course we're gonna have a little bit of key grippers like Acer and Dell we're using Dell's, some of Dell's software for, for the show so I hope you guys are gearing up for that as well. We're launching that out. It's going to be really awesome. We're going to start in the spring, go to spring, summer, back to fall, back to winter, back to spring again. And that will complete our six series type of thing. Of course, it's going to be rolled over. That means that I'm be working on it like nonstop. Um, that does mean I am taking a break for my serious romantic movies because we want to focus on doing our six series film movie project that we're starting. So I hope you guys are very, very excited for that as well. Of course, it's going to be on YouTube at Kennedy Lucas and of course on the website of www.lucasnet04.wix.com slash KOPC. Now, when we come back, I want to show you guys something that uh, is kind of cool in my eyes. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Weekend Vlog 38. I hope you guys have been enjoying the show so far. Now, there is this one last thing I want to show you guys for today's show. It's something very, very cool. Now, today I went out, of course, in my technical program, I did record the class of advanced, well, they call it, the name is advanced engineering, but they did change the name to advanced robotics. And you guys can see, if you scroll back to my YouTube at the Weekend Blog 35, I didn't do, I didn't talk about no games, I talked about some of the clips of my technical program. Uh, of course, I did get advanced engineering and more videos, but I did record advanced engineering. Uh, they were messing around with cool drones again, but they have a much bigger, bigger drone. Just please watch this, watch this clip. And I did put the, our first recording that we did, I put it on my YouTube on the show that I do. Oh, did you? Yeah, a lot of responses. What's it on there? It's, um, you go to Kennedy Lucas, you just type in Kennedy Lucas, gotcha. and it's under the uh, Today Vlog, I forget what episode it was. Cause I'm like, wall of, I, cause yeah. I want to get all of them. Because it has a, have a name, if you look in the description it'll say, Kennedy Lucas. Okay. yeah. And I'm recording it now because I want to feature it again. Yep. Let me get closer. Yes. You
How you flip? Don't Double tap. tap and you part of the screen. Double tap. Double tap. Double tap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna say it's <laughs> oh, Yeah, if it's below 30%, what it is, it's <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yes, that has been Advanced Engineering over at Grayson Technical Education Program. That's the name of the program. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy that. I thought that was really cool. They just, they messing around with some cool stuff. Real, real cool stuff. Now, I hope you guys did enjoy the show. Um, of course, um, you know, the new website is kicked off slash live I'm not gonna name the full name slash live you guys can go on there and I did last episode I did well last show I told you guys how to use the app of course it can be apt form you can get it on your Samsung your Apple iPhone your tablet your iPad whatever mobile device mobile well not really mobile but whatever device you have you can view my website and of course you can get cool content now as of right now I uh, hope you guys did enjoy the show as of right now I'm Kennedy Lucas logging off